they seem to be going. What uh, is necessary to get Toronto back and going now that uh, there's a possibility of four more games left in the series? Um, yeah, I, I think that uh, I think that we kind of got away from our process last game. Obviously, they played a very good game. Um, there's I think there's some things we need to clean up in our neutral zone. Um, in our D zone, so um, you know we've kind of talked about that the last couple of days, and I think we'll be ready to go tonight. Uh, tightening gaps help uh, in terms of at least getting that first pass, but I guess you've got to negate their forecheck as well, don't you? Yeah, totally. I mean, they, they do a great job forechecking. They're a very skilled team. Um, so yeah, I, I think that first pass uh, on the breakouts is exceptionally is very important. Um, I think that eliminating their speed is very important, and uh, those are a couple of things we're going to look to try to do tonight. You want to put game two behind you, obviously, but is there a little bit of carryover, do you think, in that last game, maybe from what happened at the end of game two? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I think we have a pretty uh, resilient bunch in there. Um, you know, Obviously, game two, things didn't go our way in the latter half of the second and the third period. Um, but with that being said, it's, it's playoffs. You know, We're going to deal with a little bit of adversity. I don't think there was any carryover. I think this group is, uh, is pretty battle-tested for the most part. Uh, uh, kind of blowing over from last year, but I think that, um, yeah, I, I think that, uh, you know, it, it was what it was, and I think, you know, we're, we're going to come out and, you know, look to have a good game here. Uh, part of your job calming the nerves of some younger guys, maybe, maybe you haven't been in this situation. Yeah, I, I, pretty good relaxed playoff run. And yeah, totally. Um, I mean, the, the young guys we do have uh, on our team are a mature bunch. Uh, you know, they've, uh, you know, a guy like Lindgren, he's played in the playoffs in uh, Finland, and, uh, mm -hmm. Sandy's a pretty uh, pretty mature player, and um, so yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, guys like me, Chris Mueller, Colin Greening, Rich Bloom, we we, we look to help any way we can. Uh, Sandy specifically, uh, you say mature player. Do you, do you like what you've seen so far from him, not only in playoffs but regular season, in terms of a guy oh. who's jumped into a, a major role. Ooh, Rasmus Sandy. Yes. Yeah, I I mean he's, uh, I mean you, you look at what he's done this year as an eight, eighteen year old, uh, nineteen year old in the league, and uh, to me to me it's amazing. I mean he's. Uh, He's a very talented player, and he's an exceptional human being. He's an awesome kid. As good as last season went for you guys in the spring, was there ever a settling point effect where you veterans had to step in just to, to right the ship? And I mean, that was a tremendous hockey club a year ago. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that you look at the first round last year, we were up to nothing uh, against Utica. It was, uh, we went into Utica, and we're coming back here, and all of a sudden it was a two to two series. So. Um, I, I think that, that that was one of the moments we had to step in. Obviously, in the finals, uh, playing Texas it was kind of back and forth throughout the series, and we dealt with a little bit of adversity. And uh, but that's what playoffs is going to be. You're not you're going to deal with some adversity um, each series, every round, and uh, it's just a matter of uh, battling through it.